Bienvenidos de nuevo a The Long Dark. You think they put me on that bus for my good behavior? That's the bus to Black Rock. Black Rock. Yeah, Black you Rock. Know. Black Rock Federal Pen. <laughs> Roca Negra como Warcraft. Where they put the worst of the bad people. People too bad for the mainland. <laughs> Hello? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Is there a doctor with you? You need to take my message. You need to deliver it for me. It's important. Ask for Atwood. Atwood. Got it. What's the message? Wintermute. Just that. Atwood will know what it means. What's in the case? I have no idea. Should I show you what happened to the last person who lied to me? She didn't look so pretty after I was done. She? Don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. Bueno, bueno. Ahora es... pues seguiremos con él, ¿verdad? Vamos a seguir con él. Why do we have to carry this sack of shit? He's heavy as hell. Shut the fuck up. Mathis says carry the asshole. We carry him. They're getting closer. You hear about what happened to Leclerc? Don't believe everything you hear, dumbass. Arrow in the chest, man! The chest! No wolves be doing that. Really? Wolves don't use bows. You figure that out all by yourself? Piss off. Something's hunting us out here, and it ain't just wolves. El demonio. Mathis will figure it out. What the hell are we even doing out here? Remember the plan. First we get daughter out. Donner, that crazy fucker. This is bullshit. Shh. He's coming back here. Water. Hey. Hey, Mathis. He's finally awake. Vaya cara tienen, ¿no? He lives. No thanks to you. Turns out you have a damn hard head, pilot. I told you I was stubborn. Woman. Oh, you mean the one you asked about in the dam? Yeah. She's still there. Won't be going anywhere soon. You bastard. Relax, Mackenzie. She had nothing to do with you. How do you? Just some old lady lost in the woods. Wandered into the dam when I was there. She saw me and wouldn't stop screaming, so I shut her up. Monster. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Why are you so worried about her? Doesn't matter. Could it have anything to do with this? I told you I have no idea what that is. Well, it's okay, pilot. We'll find a way to open it very soon. And then we'll both know what's inside. 
Hey, uh, Mackenzie? Yeah? You look like shit. Qué simpático este hombre. Shit, Mathis. Qué agradable. How long we have to carry this heavy bastard for? Shut up, man. That heavy bastard may be our ticket off this rock, so carry him. And like the man says, shut the fuck up. They found us. <laughs> Hasta luego. Hostia, no alcanzó. Venga que nos vamos. Vale, pues vámonos por ahí. No lo sabemos. Vale, ahora mismo no me está saliendo el tema de del hambre ni nada de eso. Esto es parte de la historia principalmente. ¿Me puedo cortar aquí? Evitar cosas. Vamos a ver. Ah, vale. Ahora mismo me enseñan el tutorial, ¿vale? De cómo agacharse. En el, tercer, en el cuarto capítulo me enseñan cómo agacharse. Genial. Bueno, estos capítulos ya no los jugué, ¿vale? Me quedé en el 3 porque ya no había más. Así que bien. Those wolves hunting him. Look, you dumbass. Mathis says the pilots are taking off this damn island. Don't you want to get back to the mainland? But Eller, the arrow in the chest, man. Let's go find this guy before Mathis loses his temper again. You know what he's like when he's angry. Vamos, que está loquísimo. Between Mathis and the wolves, I have a bad feeling about this place. Vamos corriendo. Imagino que en algún momento me puede cortar la cuerda de las manos, ¿verdad? Digo yo.
No sé si me saldrá algo por aquí o no. No creo, ¿no? ¿Será algún lobo o algo? No veas, ¿no? Para defenderme. Vale, mira qué cosa. Rusty saw blade. Might be sharp Qué casualidad, ¿no? ¿Me puedo llevar eso? Eso sirve de arma. No me lo puedo llevar. Voy a coger esto, ¿no? Vale, por aquí ya empiezan a aparecer cosas, ¿no? De... Bueno, no hay nada realmente. Aquí. Eh, carta pienso en ti aquí fuera, completamente solo. ¿Te aportó algo especial? ¿Te aportó algo especial el dejarnos como lo hiciste? ¿Y por qué? Por Roca Negra, te esperamos durante mucho tiempo, papá. ¿Pensaste en nosotros al final? Me alegro de haber venido hasta aquí por fin. Aunque solo haya sido para ver cómo era vivir en este lugar desaparado. Me he estado un rato en busca. Me he sentado un rato en busca de tu voz. Solo he oído lobos. Con todo mi corazón, Bonnie. <coughs> vale. Vámonos para arriba. Ahí lo tenemos. Es que es. Es, es tontísimo. Es tontísimo. Looks like I finally found a use for your metal case. We have unfinished business, pilot. Stick around. Oh, you're free. Qué frío hace, joder. Bueno, pues aquí lo tenemos. Voy a quitar esto porque es copyright, ¿vale? Capítulo 1. Melancolía en Roca Negra. Estamos en la prisión, entonces. Estamos en la prisión. Dos días le quedaban a ese para salir. Vale, vamos a coger el libro. Este no podemos cogerlo ni nada. There you are. Well, welcome to the shit show. Okay. So who are you? Unfortunately, I run this place. That doesn't seem to be working out too well for you. Yes, well, normally I'm on the other side of the bars. Name's Franklin. I'm warden here at Black Rock. And you are? Mackenzie. Franklin, what's going on here? The situation is this. You and I are locked up in here. Mathis and his gang of thugs are trying to break someone out of solitary. We're still alive, for now, so they must need us for something. The power's been out for days. And nobody is coming to help. Sounds about right. Rocanegra. So, Blackrock? Yeah. Maximum security prison. Built a hundred years ago and updated a few times. It's basically a fortress. Out here? You notice the walls on your way in? I was, uh... No. Okay, well, they aren't that high or that impressive, really. You know why? No idea. 
because whatever dumb son of a bitch tries to escape from this place has to get through about 50 clicks of brutal terrain full of dangerous wildlife before they can even think about finding a road that leads out of here. Mm. Well, but we got here. Yeah, but are you going to get out? About 20 years ago, a pair of cons escaped. They came back three days later, half dead, begging us to take them back. And that was in the middle of summer. I get the picture. Mathis. So, Mathis. Mathis. You know him? Oh yeah, we go way back. He was in for murder on the mainland about 10 years ago. He did seven and then got off on parole. I was warden at one of the federal pens there, and, well, let's just say Mathis isn't sending me any Christmas cards these days. Any idea what he's doing here? Unfortunately, yeah. He's here for Donner. Donner? Who's that? His son. Hmm. Shit. So, some kind of twisted family reunion. Mathis is bad, but he's old school bad. Murder, larceny, the occasional heist, and grand theft auto. But Donner? He's a chip off the old block and then some. So, not a good person. Well, he's locked up in Blackrock, isn't he? <laughs> Mathis is bad, but Donner is something much worse. I've seen a lot of criminals in my years, and Donner, he's one of those guys that keeps wardens like me up at night. He's evil to the core. He's the kind of guy they make prisons like Black Rock for. There's no redemption for guys like Donner. They aren't here for rehabilitation. There's no way back to living in regular society again. They just want to destroy the world you and I live in. If Mathis is bad, Donner is biblical bad. Bye. Pues hay que matarlo. So, Donner is a very bad guy. Mathis came here to spring him. Tell me again why we aren't dead yet. Well, that's a story. Power went out here a couple of weeks ago now. The backups held for a while, but eventually the cons were able to break out and overwhelm the guards. They grabbed the keys to solitary, went to get Donner, which, well, that would have been the end. But they couldn't open the gates to solitary. Something has them locked down tight and it's driving Mathis crazy. It was bad for us. I haven't seen any of the other guards since they locked me up in here and, well, I fear the worst. And now that Mathis is here... Cerrado. But with the power down, what's keeping the gates locked? There are mechanical fail-safes in the system. Keep in mind, most of this jail is pretty old. But that's not the full answer to why Donner is still locked up. What do you mean? Well, best I can tell, they should have been able to break him out by now. But something, or someone, has been getting in the way. You mean, there's someone else still out there? That's exactly what I mean. But who? I don't know. But sounds like Mathis is as mad as a hornet because of them, and that brings me no small pleasure. Shit! They're coming! Get back to your bunk! So, pilot... You're back in the land of the living. For now. Yeah, but just seeing you gives me a headache. <laughs> well, just seeing you makes me want to hit people. So, Warden, looks like we have a little problem. I still can't get into solitary. You have any idea why that might be? I told you, Mathis, the whole jail is in some kind of weird lockdown. It all happened before you got here. Donner just... Coño. Don't you ever say his name. I 
I don't know anything about it. My guys say someone's been tampering with the system. They say it's gotten worse. Every time they take a step closer to breaking into solitary, something new gets in their way. Didn't you used to run this place? Yeah. So you're telling me you have no idea how it works? That's just the thing. Nothing is working the way it's supposed to right now. Bullshit. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> and stop wasting your time. You don't have much left. Unless we get that door open. Mathis, I don't know anything. Let me jog your memory. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey Madness! Maybe not so hard. Like, we might still need him to get him out. Madness, uh, he doesn't look good. You're going too far. <laughs> Clean him up. bad yeah mathis is getting worse this shit with donna has him half crazy half crazy ever since the bus crash he's been getting wild like a caged animal <laughs> how the hell did he expect this to turn out you remember montreal right oh yeah i mean remember that place on saint catherine's with the girl <laughs> who not that you fucking moron Remember how Mathis broke out? Oh, yeah. I wasn't there, but I heard about it. Right. You clean up the warden, and I'll tell you all about it. So there was this really tight plan. Mathis had months to set it up. Everyone had their part to play. It was like, out of a fucking movie. So we bust out, and all hell breaks loose. We get to the front gates. It's a mess, right? Place is in chaos. And the driver who's supposed to pick us up, he's late. No shit. No shit. So the driver pulls up, like, two minutes late. Alarms going off everywhere. It's like, the prison guards are coming after us. We're gonna get grabbed at any second. We're yelling at Mathis, come on, man, let's go, let's get out of here. And Mathis just stands there, looking at the fucking driver looking like he wants to eat the guy the driver's terrified Mathis walks over to the van slowly we're all jumping in and yelling to get out and we and we can see the fucking guards coming like we are done we need to get out Mathis he pulls the driver out of the van looks back at us and with this totally wild look in his eyes. Just says, go. Like totally calmly, but with this wild edge. And he just starts beating the living shit out of the driver. Wow. I knew it went bad in Montreal, but I didn't know that story. Yeah. I mean, we took off. And Mathis, it took five cops to pull him off that driver. He cared less about being caught than he did about the driver being late. Crazy fucker. Mathis is not a patient man. He does not like it when a plan does not come together. He does not like to be let down. And right now, his plan for getting Donner out of here is totally fucked. It's just a matter of time before he... snaps. Like he did in Montreal. He looks bad, eh? What are we going to do? If he dies, it'll be worse for us, because we'll take the heat. We need to get him patched up. Well, we passed some kind of first aid building on the way in. Great. Go there and grab some supplies. No fucking way. You hear all those wolves out there? 
Don't be an asshole. Go do it. You do it. Why do I have to be the one who... Hey, who went back to look for Leclerc when he went missing? No way I'm going back out there. I'll do it. Did you hear something? I said I'll do it. Let me out, and I'll get the supplies. Nobody's talking to you, pilot. Just keep quiet and hope that Mathis doesn't start paying attention to you. He dies, and you guys take the rap. You want that? The rap? Take the rap? Who talks like that? Listen, pilot. Why don't you shut the fuck up? What do you have to lose? I go out there, get attacked by wolves? No great loss, right? Wait a second, man. This is a bad idea. Mathias has plans for this guy. Shut up. All right. You're right. You've been out in the bush all this time. I'm sure you figured out how to deal with a few wolves by now. We let you out. You get the supplies. The warden lives and maybe. We keep Mathis distracted so he doesn't lose his shit on you next time. Understood. You let me out. I get the supplies. The warden lives. Ha! <laughs> you see? He learns fast. Time to save the day, pilot. Don't fuck it up. Bien. Después de cinco horas de conversación, a ver si podemos hacer algo. Get going, pilot. The warden doesn't have much time left. And in case you're thinking of running away, remember, we still have your precious case. <sighs> Brutal, <sighs> deadly cold. Uh... How I've missed you. Vamos a ver si podemos coger alguna cosa. Pues. Porque ahora sí me sale, me sale mi estado. No sé si habrá algo por aquí o no. Unas cerillitas ¿Qué hay por aquí? Dame algo de comer, joder Oh, vale, 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 vale. Son al lado, pero no sé dónde están Hostia, qué susto me he dado, tío también ha sido un ciervo ¿ves? todo está cerrado dámelo carbón también me llevo uno okay. tampoco quiero llevarme mucha mierda esta ¿eh? voy a llevármelo tú informe para el rearchivo historia oral de roca negra a mi marido lo contrató un viejo amigo suyo de la marina era en principio de los 50 y por aquel entonces no nadábamos en la abundancia precisamente según me contaron luego otras esposas, Roca Negra era un lugar que era para evitar. Teníamos una cabañita en un pueblo un poco alejado de la prisión. Muchos de los trabajadores vivían cerca, pero no todos. Algunos se alejaban todo lo que podían de la prisión, aunque los inviernos dificultasen el camino al trabajo. Intentaba no pensar en lo que pasaba allí arriba. Aquello cambió a mi marido, no sé muy bien cómo. Era un hombre dulce, aunque algo perdido y tenía mala pinta. Tenía mala pata con el empleo como muchos otros entonces, pero el tiempo que pasamos en Gran Oso, en aquel lugar, le afectó anímicamente como no sabría explicar. Yo cuidaba un jardín y escribía largas cartas a mi hermana. Así es como recuerdo esos años, escribiendo sin parar, esperando el día de nuestra partida mientras pasaban las estaciones. Vale, tenemos algo de comida. Agua, no tengo una mierda, así que... Eh, debería a lo mejor encender un fuego... Voy a hacer fuego porque me interesa. Well, eh... Hostia, no tengo cazuela, ¿verdad? Vale, qué bien. Acabo de perder el material. 
Claro que sí, joder. Mira, tenemos una mesa debajo. ¿Qué es esto? Lata de pólvora. Plantón de abedú curado. Un pequeño plantón de abedú que ha sido curado. Se puede usar para fabricar y reparar objetos. Vamos a ver qué hay por aquí. Nada, tío. Por aquí abajo tampoco. No sé, si me levanto o si me duermo. Estoy entretenido con esto. Hace muchísimo frío, eh. Mira cómo baja la temperatura. Hay un cadáver. Esto es un policía. Un policía no, un funcionario de prisiones. Uh, ya veo, ya veo la taquilla de roca negra. La llave de la taquilla de barracones funciona de roca negra. Puta el lobo. Luego. ¿Qué hay por aquí? No sé muy bien de todo aquí. Ah, vale. Esta es la enfermería. ¿No? Sí. I better hang on to this. Vale. Vale, ya empezó a matar cositas. Esto por aquí. Vale, 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 bien, bien, bien. El café, esto. Tengo que ir a la taquilla de la esta de los funcionarios, ¿no? Habrá que ir por aquí detrás. Lata reciclada, refresco. Nada. <ríe> vale. Eh, por aquí. Tengo el kit este. Podemos dormir aquí también. Podemos dormir. Eh... Mira, aquí tenemos otro. Uy, tenemos una bala. Otra bala de rifle. Entonces se puede abrir. Ya ve la caja de caudales, a ver dónde está. Lo paso. Hago otro libro. Vale, está la taquilla. El borro. Más retales. Bueno, vale. No, no. Me cago en la puta, tío. Joder. Uy. Ah, 
agua. Mira, tenemos esto. Venga. Vale, tengo agua del baño. Bien. No. Retal. Debo venir en handy. Buscar agua de aquí. Aquí hay mucho cartucho y tal, pero... Ahora bebemos. Vamos a beber. Tengo mucha agua. Ahí bebemos, bien. Vale, había una escalera por aquí, ¿no? que ir por aquí no me hay taquillas pero bueno ya ahora hemos encontrado algo más vale, tenemos los guantes vale, tenemos la ventana esa Esto por aquí. Por aquí estamos calentitos, ¿vale? Aquí estamos bien. No vamos a coger nada más para quemar. Porque ya voy, ya voy lleno. Muchos cajones. Estaría bien encontrar armas. Yo no sé por qué había balas por ahí tirar y no había armas. Papeles. Cansante reducido. Estaba todo eso, pues no lo voy a coger porque no me van a ayudar nada. Por aquí. Espérate, ahora voy por ahí. ¿Para qué lo coges, Mackenzie? Hostia, es la tía esta, ¿no? Es la cazadora. Para que el juego se muriera el marido. Soy importante. Solo un pilot Mi nombre es... Mi nombre es Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Right. Well, Mr. Mackenzie. No Mr. Mackenzie. Just Mackenzie. Well, Mr. Bush Pilot Mackenzie. Welcome to the party. You working for those assholes in prison? Which ones? Suena la voz de ella, pero no lo sé. Not working for them. Then what are you doing out here? Where are you calling me from? Somewhere safe. Look, Mr. Mackenzie. Soon you're gonna have to figure out whose side you're on in this little stalemate we have going on. I don't know anything about a stalemate. And I'm not on anyone's side. I'm on my own side. Well, at least you're honest. That's a start. 
Where are you? And what do you want? Ooh-wee. That question has a long damn answer. Right now, I'm safe from those prison assholes. But I cannot say the same for you. Look, the prison warden. He's injured. I'm just trying to keep him alive. So, they let you out of the prison. Then they're just gonna let you back in? Right. But you aren't helping them? No. Something about this situation, about you, doesn't fit. Look, why don't you tell me where you are and maybe I can help you? <laughs> help me? Shit, man. You can't even help yourself. Are you the one that's messing up the convict's plans? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Either way, I'm not telling you. How do I know you aren't really one of Donner's boys? Trying to trap me. Donner? So you know about him. Wake up, man. This is all about Donner. Don't you get that? And I'm the only thing standing between that fucker rotting away in solitary and an evil bastard being unleashed of the rest of this frozen hellhole. Ah, vale, que ella, ella sabe cómo well, sacarlo de ahí, ¿no? I mean, I hear it's nice in the summer. Take care of yourself, Mr. McKenzie. Those wolves sound pretty hungry to me. I'll do my best. Muy bien. Well, that was weird. No te creas. ¿Qué hay por aquí? Ah, hay una nota con cosas. Y una llave. Nota, hemos recibido una llamada de la entrada principal diciendo que había una especie de accidente a los pies de la colina. Le he dado el kit de emergencia a uno de los funcionarios que iba a bajar con una camioneta e inspeccionarlo. Últimamente los lobos no nos dejan en paz. Lo malo es que ese kit tenía la poca morfina que quedaba y los antibióticos buenos. Por favor, compruebe el inventario y solicite que le lo repongan todo en cuanto lo sea posible. Gracias. Llave de la verja de roca negra. ¿Lo queréis la camioneta? Uy, me gusta este sitio, es acogedor. Nota de roca negra, lobo muy agresivo. Para empeorar aún más este invierno tenemos un nuevo informe de ese lobo extraño con el cual nos la vimos el año pasado. Al parecer ha vuelto. Esperábamos que hubiera vagado lejos del recinto, pero estos avistamientos y su comportamiento agresivo son, incon son concluyentes. Para ayudarnos a entender si se trata de un problema con un solo animal o si forma parte de un patrón más amplio en la isla, hemos contratado con el ecólogo regional para que realice un breve estudio y nos dé opciones. Mientras tanto, permanece alerta al salir del recinto o del vehículo cuando os desplacéis. Gordon, revisó del turno azul. Lo que es acuerdo del lobo agresivo. Pues dame una pistola o algo. Paquete de alimentos donados. Nos hace falta los voluntarios para probar algunas de las raciones que nos han caído encima. Esta noche estaremos en los barracones con el cocinero para abrirlas. Si valen para algo, quizás no las queremos. Venir a sitio si lo interesa. Vale. Uy, lo que tenemos por aquí. Nota de oficina. Hemos encontrado más atronadores de contrabando en la última inspección. Muy bien hecho. Hechos. Muy bien hechos, eso sí. Y con tantos lobos merodeando por la región, podríamos darles un buen uso. Seguro que te revienta el tímano, así que no, no, no lo enciendas si no lo vas a usar en serio, K. Hostia, que hay explosivos, tío. Bueno, bueno. ¿Qué tenemos aquí? Si lo pedas. Y esto está aquí. Vale. Eh... Vamos a cargar esto. Vale. 
Bueno, creo que esta, este eh, capítulo se va a basar en la prisión. Porque, claro, no hemos tenido más acceso a las llaves de él hasta aquí. A no ser que estén los tipos por aquí muertos con ella. Esto es, es que vamos a encontrar un rifle por ahí. Aquí está. ¡Ja! Aquí está rifle. Perfecto. Yo creo que le he dado en toda la cabeza, ¿eh? No le da porque estaba temblando el hijo de puta. Está el cadáver, el pibe ahí. Está metido ahí en la cueva el cabrón, ¿no? Esto es. Vale. 